Okay, welcome back. Just wanted to show you some of the best bits or worst bits or yeah, I mean these are the best bits from the film. Avalanche, 1978, I believe, Roger Corman made for $2 million or $1.78 million, $1.7 million with special effects that <laughs> he got straight out of the bargain bin. Stock footage and footage from the film Meteor. You might notice some of the uh, snow has got a blue tinge to it. And that's because uh, originally it had a red tinge in the, in the film Meteor, but they done something to it and give it a, a blue tinge. Uh, some of it's stock footage where you see the grain and uh, some of it is polystyrene or styrofoam blocks. Some of it is shredded plastic blown everywhere, which apparently got into the uh, into the sewers and everywhere. This guy, Rock Hudson. This morning, some snot nosed reporters started asking. Most about unlikable the person of the land, going. Like well, it could mean a lot. He's having a row with somebody on the phone about, I don't know, plans or. Whether you like weather, you just have to. This film. This film is so dreary and boring. I hate it. I hate it. I've made notes and I've. I've looked at parts of this film. It is so bad. It was, it was voted as one of the top hundred worst films ever made. There's parts in this that are just horrendous. Oh, flat. Let's get you set. Oh, uh, Sammy. Would you get Mr. Elliot's luggage, please, room 509? Oh, who cares about Mr. Elliot's luggage? There's a part at 35 minutes here where he gets jealous and says some dialogue that just amazing. So, yeah, she was dancing with Robert Forster and uh, he decides that he wants to dance with her now because he's... Uh, yeah, they had a relationship four years ago, basically. What's going on here? I only asked you to dance. You didn't ask me to dance. You told me to dance. You've got to run the whole show. You, you panic if you haven't got complete control. It's always the same thing. I got to the point where I, I didn't even know what I felt about anything. I just want to be with you. What's wrong with wanting to be with you? Are you wanting to be with me? You stifle me. I, I need some space. I need some room. I, I've got to make my own decisions. Just leave me alone. I don't want to leave you alone. Well, that's a problem I can solve. Caroline! <laughs> okay, this next scene at 42 minutes is Tina going to find the ski boy Bruce. And she's there. Uh, he's not interested, he's found somebody else. But she goes to surprise him in bed. get on with it she finds him in bed then goes crazy very men very unstable person running around in freezing cold with all this plastic snow blowing around <laughs> don't know what he was doing there Maybe he was a, he's a reporter, I guess, so I guess he was just trying to, oh, this bit's interesting. Rock Hudson being That's a slime ball. I by noon. I'll be right there. Good morning. Good morning. We, uh, had a little trouble with the ring last night. Can I feel on <laughs> oh, so creepy. Let me see that white arse. 
Look how white it is. <laughs> and then he just switches into psycho mode again because things ain't going his way. Uh, yeah, Marty, what? I don't care about your pilot and his weather conditions. I want you and that fly on a plane up here tonight. Right, so he doesn't care about the pilot. No, he wants the, Not the pilot up here tonight. You and, that file in your and then the next little scene I want to show you is his mother. Mrs. Partridge from the Partridge family getting lushed up on Bloody Mary's. This film is so... Oh, look, first of all, we've got to see the milk scene. Nine? Is she that good? You know, either put that apple down or throw it at me. It wouldn't hurt you enough if I threw it. Well, my ass hurts enough already. Jealousy's the biggest pain in the ass. Stop it, damn you! Stop acting as if you can get away with anything, you son of a bitch! So this is what you usually threaten to kill yourself. I'll cut you to shreds, you bastard! Take the place away your husband plays. He's got a real spot. Hey, stop it! Take that. <laughs> I've heard of giving somebody a slap when they're hysterical, but never throwing milk in their face. But, you know, he treats her with kindness and tells her to go away. And we see later on she tries to take an overdose. What are you going to do? Freeze the Red Sea? For <laughs> you? Anything. But not outdoors. Next year, indoors. Hey, don't you drink too many of those things. Right on. <laughs> right on. This film is so dated. Okay, the plane's in trouble from all the plastic snow flying around. And uh, we see more skiers. And finally... at last so Robert Forster basically was warning them there's going to be an avalanche but he didn't know that a plane was going to crash into the mountain and cause this massive snow drift and it all kicks off basically and we, we actually get to see some action at the it's literally 59 minutes into the film right now. And the first death we see is at 1 minute and 3. So let's go forward to that. Okay, so we get more polystyrene flying around. And get some more stock footage from Meteor. And some... There you go, there's the special effects. skater seems very pervy yes keep spinning <laughs> or CGI or special effects just dashes are on the floor <laughs> no it let's stand up head This is pure 
more slapstick coming up. Oh, nice one. Screams for no reason. Guy just got covered in tomato soup. She's going to kill herself. But the avalanche says, no, you're not. She's wearing a t-shirt with Bruce on it. That's the skier, that two-time duck. And a polystyrene through the door. Uh, how are we going for time? Not too bad. Yeah, so aftermath, some people survive, some people are dead. Some people are just looking for a drink or a cigarette. Somebody trapped on the uh, a chairlift. TV crew turn up. What are you going to do now? We're going to set up. What? We're going to shoot this goddamn thing. All that stuff up here. Nice. Sleep, Mrs. Shelby. Don't go to sleep, but I want to hear more music. So it's cold. She hasn't got any drink or cigarettes, so she just decides to die. And here we have Bruce underground, the skier who was throwing milk around earlier. And they're searching for him with poles and sticking him in the ground. Over here! They found him! Amazing! They're going to save his life! Bruce! Please save Bruce! Oh, she tries to save old Mrs. Partridge. And that's a sign that she saved her. Wow! Amazing! Skidding. Old ambulance there. Nice. And then we get. Mom, I don't want that. I want a Bloody Mary. Still on the piss. <laughs> and finally, they pull Bruce out. But it's too late. Oh, what a shame. He was such a lovely guy. <laughs> well, he bloody is. This bit's funny. They're stuck in the chairlift. They've got a... A net below. They catch the boy. The boy is safe! Let go! Save him! Just let go! So she's alive. Save David's mother. But unbeknownst to them, there's a snowdrift up ahead, the ambulance skids, and oh dear, Mira Farrow falls out. And the ambulance. Oh dear. Well, she might be alright. It's a bit of a fall, but oh. She's dead. So they saved her, but not the mother. Uh, I have nothing to say. But 
like some champagne? Of course. Tonight. What shall we drink to? We survive. I caused all of this. No shit. I am responsible. That's nice. You've never said that. Oh, she loves him now. So, it takes a big man to take responsibility and say he was in the wrong. But, you know, there's no happy endings here. She says she loves him, but basically that's the end of the film. She's got to go now. Where? Who knows? Maybe to see Woody Allen. I don't bloody know. But this film is shocking. Shocking. It's shocking, eh? It's terrible. It's a terrible film. Loved every minute of it. I hope you enjoyed my little summary. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Cheers.